Okay, next up guys, we're going to go through attacking pattern three. So again, the purpose of our possession is to manipulate the team out of the space we want to attack. So in this case, we want to attack with our fullbacks to start the pattern. So we've been circulating the ball around the back four and with the defensive midfielder until finally, as the ball is circulated, we find the right back with space and time in front, which should be a trigger for our ball side players to begin their movement. So just like attacking pattern one and two, as that ball is traveling to the right back, the right wing is going to check away to bring his left back with him and then check at speed sprint in in order to lose his man right so in this particular case unlike pattern one and two we are not going to use the right back at that same time just like in attacking pattern one and two our central midfielder would be showing okay and our center forward would have already checked away off the center back shoulder as the ball was traveling from our center back to the right back and as we see he's about to open his hips to receive it now that we've dragged the center back away from the space we want to use, the center forward's going to check in hard again to lose his man and to create space. So as this center back is now checking, the left back will be checking with our winger who checked away. Okay, we're now looking for a ball directly into the center forward's feet. So the right back is looking to find the center forward's feet immediately. So the center forward created that space, and now he's pinning the center back, and we can play into it. From here, there's two main options we want to use. The right back wing, who would have already checked for pattern one and two, is now here, suck the left back in, and he's immediately going to spin in behind. So if the timing is right, the center forward can just play first or second time to this right winger here, which can serve a ball in, which our left wing would have been attacking, our weak side central midfielder would have been attacking. If the timing is not correct or the angle is not on, as that ball is traveling into the center forward, we're also asking, regardless of what the center forward makes, the decision-wise, we're also asking our central midfielder to check underneath. So the ball can go into the center forward, laid off to the central midfielder, and now we have this passing lane for the through ball to the right wing here. Okay, We could also use our right back if we needed, um, who, whoever we needed, but to, to get into that space to give, give that vertical angle. Just like before, if the central midfielder, if that angle isn't on, if the left back's here and cutting that off and the central midfielder has space, then the central midfielder can drive and then look for maybe our left wing flat or a weak side central player. If none of those options are on, we can reload. We could either bounce back to the right wing and, and reload. We could bounce back to the right back and shift the ball across in order to find the next pattern. So again... As the ball is traveling across the back four, comes into the right back, the timing of the center forward and the right winger should have already been to check away, now lose their man and check in. We're now going vertical to the center forward. We're looking for the uh, layoff to the center mid and through, or a first time layoff to that right wing down the line and then service into the box to score. So again, this is pattern three. We're looking for that vertical ball into the center forward.